And then we had, we finished the morning with Rev Lebaradian from NVIDIA, your colleague, Neil. And uh, Rev is the guy who's, uh, you know, he's taking everything that the other guy said and he's doing it. Omniverse is actually, a, uh, a, you know, has USD at its core. And, uh, you know, so Rev made, uh, made uh, a lot of interesting representation about Omniverse. Uh, Neil, you want to talk to that? Yeah, I mean, this is a, a great example of you know, USD already being deployed in real time and use cases and applications not just being used for um, offline movie rendering. And you know, there's lots of cool technology in, in, in Omniverse. I mean, there were a couple of examples that Rev was using you know, digital because he was focused on using um, uh, uh, on the use case for metaverse in industrial rather than you know, uh, consumer uh, and, and gaming. So it was an interesting, different perspective. Digital twins was was one of the use cases. You now, what happens? What can you do if you connect the real and virtual worlds and all kinds of insights can happen, not just in real time, but if you have enough processing power to start simulating the real world as to what might happen. And if you can do that quickly enough, uh, fast enough, you can begin to you know, predict the future. <laughs> so that was a very interesting uh, framing of the power of you know, uh, high performance uh, simulation, trying out different future scenarios. You know, a very powerful, interesting idea. He actually called it out at superpowers, right? If I remember well. Superpowers, right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. And, and Rev's a very passionate and inspiring speaker. And I, I liked that he showed just the scale of the metaverse, which became a theme that we started to see later later in the course. And uh, then also looking at all these use cases uh, outside of entertainment. Uh, and Mark and I are excited because we're going to have Rev on, on the podcast this season as well. Yeah. Yeah, we're looking forward to uh, to talk to Rev. I think he, he made the case, you know, about real-time simulation and when you can have a digital twin and simulate the future and having recorded the past, it's like you have teleportation, time travel, and then you can explore alternate futures. So I think it's... Uh, it's very powerful and, you know, the role, of, I mean, he told us a lot about AI and the role of AI and, you know, calling, calling Omniverse a place when Warbot can learn how to be a robot. I think it's also a good, um, a good summary of what the NVIDIA is trying to do with Omniverse right there. Yeah. And I, I like this other example of training a, a, a robot inside the virtual metaverse and having it interact with the environment and then just lifting that training out into a real robot. <laughs> And it worked. You know, that was that was another very cool example. Yeah, we'll see a lot of that in our futures. So, 